All right. Be difficult. Fine. Go ahead. Be difficult. again and welcome to Charlie's House Call Auto Repair. Today we've got a 2011 Honda CRV we got to put back brakes into and we've got a 2007 Trailblazer we've got a rough start rough running check engine lights on and a couple other little projects to do here but today we're gonna be concentrating right now on the back brakes and this little guy here I'm going to do a quick system scan on this just to double check everything. Let's see, GM Honda. Sixteen pin. Okay, let's do a health report. Alright, that took a little while. Let's see. Fault report. I didn't see anything. We have no faults. Okay, so we've got a nice, clean, clear system. Uh, let's save this as a pre repair. Let's play it safe. Alright, so we're all saved. Let's go ahead and get these uh, back brakes done. Do not forget your dongle. Okay. Get this jacked up in the air. Get these lug nuts out of here. Get the brakes part. Let's go ahead and loosen up all the lug nuts. Yeah, we want to have this where we can put the jack stands when we're done. Go get a jack stand. Right there, a bit better. 
and we'll go ahead and let it back down. Bushings. No bad shock mounts, no bad wires. Okay, everything under here looks good. Let's get this baby broke down. So we got to take these screws here out. We're going to need these out of the way to get the rotor off. Get those done and out of the way for now. We don't have much left in here, so I'm just I'm just going to get into this. I got a 14 millimeter, and the bracket bolts are 17 millimeter. Let's get these bolts out of here. pad doesn't want to let go. Enough of a lip on the back side of this rotor, it doesn't want to come off. Maybe push the piston back a little further. That's enough. All right. Inboard brake pad is stuck, stuck. So we're going to try to take the caliper bracket off and go that route. Now, 
that's what we got. A little worn unevenly. Brake pad's definitely stuck in the caliper bracket. Well, let's wiggle these apart. Boys. Fun. It's stuck. Wow, they are really stuck in there. Edge right there from being really stuck in there. Yeah, that one's good and stuck. Worn a little bit unevenly. Top to bottom's kind of even, but right to, you know, one side to the other's a little uneven. One side to the other's a little uneven. That's from being very stuck. We are not going to be able to get this off. We're going to pull this little plug right here out. And we're going to have to rotate it until we find the adjuster. Usually right down here in the bottom. That's tightening, so we gotta go down. Now the parking brake shoes. And we got a lot of material. There's only a parking brake shoe and it is even. So we got very little wear. A lot of dust built up in here, so spray this down with some brake clean. There's not much of this backing plate left. You can see where it's been scraping here and there. But uh I don't like the discoloration on here. It looks to me like a bearing's failing. And it definitely looks like a bearing failing to me. You know, all this discoloration. You know, let's see what's going on here. This caliper bracket. That hardware pretty uh, seized in there. You pop these clips out. A rust jacking underneath there. Right, same thing on this one. So we're going to have to grab the file, get all of that cleaned up. Try to get this all right here. 
all of this clean. Same thing on this side. So we're gonna go get these cleaned up and we'll be right back. Yep. Got the bracket reconditioned a little bit. Go ahead and put some grease on that. Don't need a lot, just a little bit like this. Coat these, coat that metal with the grease. And we'll go ahead and put the uh, hardware clips in. She's on the trainer, so we need one of these and two of these. And I'll go on the other side. Take the, uh, the new pieces, slide them down, and here clip in there. Hopefully, say it go in, stay in. Ha! <laughs> they don't want to go down and stay in. Well, these will take a little bit of a uh, Getting creative with, I think. Get them down in there secure. We need to clean the rotor up. Put that on first. Make sure both of the rotors are exactly the same. They look good. Right, same design. Alright, let's go get this one all cleaned up. See, this one we got the inside and out. One screw, two screws there. Get the two holes right here. Line those up. Go ahead and get these screws in here, nice and tight. Go ahead and give it a spritz down with the brake cleaner again. Bracket back on. It's the two big thick bolts. tightened up. Put the breaker bar on those, make sure they're good and tight. Right. 
Make sure we didn't get any grease on the rotor. Push the piston all the way back in, clean that caliper up, more rust. Space is equal in the front and back. Okay, Brake pads. Brake pads are a little bit different than what we're used to because these have got the retaining clips that hold it into the piston and we got a squealer. So we've got a right and a left pad. And again, the squealer always goes on the leading edge. The leading edges in this case is at the bottom. This is gonna be on the inboard. So this is going to be the pad for this side, and pad, you know, I'm going to go to the other side. The outboard pads don't make any difference, they're both exactly the same, and it just sets right in there like that. And this piece right here has to go on top of it, the caliper presses down on this. gonna get the caliper cleaned up make sure there's no problems with the piston piston doesn't want to go back in care easily it could be from rust in this case it does not want to go in easily we have a very rusty very rusty caliper now we're gonna try something just a little bit different with this one This is coming out okay because I blew the piston out. See all the rust all over it? That's what's causing it to get stuck is all of this right here. So we're gonna clean this up. I'm gonna take this boot out, clean up the inside of the caliper, and we'll reassemble this. This isn't something I normally do, but in this case, we can't push this piston all the way back in with all of this rust on it. When you're doing this, make sure you don't come down all the way down into the shiny surface with the file. You only want to, these gloves aren't worth a crap. Never go flat across like this. Rotate the piston while you're going across. There, you don't accidentally flat spot it. Now, this is not a guaranteed fix because this can and possibly will leak.
especially if you gouge or scratch it too deeply. You got some black spots on here, you want to try to get as much of that out of there as you can. Feels pretty smooth in my hand now. We have a little bit of the silicone grease again. Just a little dab of it. Work that right down into the, the pitting. You can definitely feel the, uh, the pitting in there a little bit. Now let's get some more brake cleaner. Probably going to have to do the rest of this without gloves because these medium sized nitrils don't fit. They're popping like balloons. I can't get my hands in these dang things. All right. Now we need to get this boot out. In this case, <laughs> the boot is also the seal. And that's going to make even more fun. This one's got grime in it all the way around. Now, I don't know if I can get this boot out of this or not without ripping it. Do not want to rip it. Now, we're going to have to definitely be a little bit more ingenuitive with this. Inside of this, all rinsed out. Gonna try to get the piston back in. <laughs> Here's where the fun really begins. Cause you gotta get the piston inside this boot <laughs> somehow. These gloves are not going to work. Neither are these. No more gloves today, people. Just got to scrub my hands like hell later. Okay, still got a little bit of brake cleaner left inside this. Now, I'm not going to kid you. This is not an easy thing to do. I'm going to have to go find my picks. Well, I don't know if I can get any usable footage out of this or not, but... This is going to be tricky.
And we'll get the piston in, all the way back down in. Surprised. Get it all the way down in. So now we'll go ahead and clean everything back up. Assemble everything. Which means Caliper piston back in. <laughs> Back in here again. There we go. Now I can go ahead and slide this down up here. And put a caliper bracket bolts back in. Our slides are all good. They're moving around fine. Tighten those back down. So moves in and out nice and easy. Now we're gonna have to loosen up that bleed screw. That's gonna be a 10 millimeter. Being that uh, bleed screws can be a pain, put the wrench in, tap it with a hammer, and loosen that up. Now, got everything all back together. It's a little bit of a quick spray down again. Just in case I got any crap on it. Alright, now gotta make sure the master cylinder is full. Get some brake fluid out of it. Good. Maybe we can gravity bleed. Yep, we got, got gravity bleed. So now let me see if you can see the fluid right here or not. I tap on the, see, see that squirts? That means we've got gravity bleed. So 
Well, this is doesn't even need to be blood out. This light tapping will knock the air bubbles that are in here out. And go ahead and tighten it back up. I'm going to pump the brake pedal up, make sure it holds. I'm going to go ahead and clean all of this mess up again. Right here, we can make sure we don't have any leaks. Set the drag on the parking brake. All right, so none of this job's going all that easy. Sometimes they don't. I gotta get this turned back around. Where right, I get to the adjuster. A little bit farther. There's the adjuster. And now we go up, tighten it. All right. Now it's tight. Now I'm gonna back it off. One, two, three. All right. All right, this side's done. Now I can go get to do the other side. And don't forget to put your little rubber clip back in and put the wheel back on and the brakes are all done on this side like uh, while I was editing I found out that I lost a couple of the files at the very tail end putting the wheel back on and driving it away but either way if you guys liked the uh, video feel free to like comment and subscribe I appreciate the subscriptions and don't forget got no more excuses pick up those wrenches